hello everyone i welcome all to this very very fascinating and interesting topic it is titled uh, speak english fluently with this secret and what is the secret uh, based on the research that i have done based on my own personal experience of english language uh, there is an idea that, that i strongly believe from my heart of heart that it is important that I share it with my viewers all over the world. And the idea is simply expressed on the chalkboard. And I strongly believe that if anyone out there integrates uh, this idea, try to incorporate this idea in his or her journey towards English language fluency and excellence, that individual is bound to become a competent communicator of the language itself and if you look at what is on the board the first one has to do the concept of daily okay the concept of daily atomistic learning an atom is the smallest unit okay of matter so the idea has to do with the fact that you need uh, to break down the various units of <clears throat> of English language you look at the various components then secondly you look at your schedule no matter how tight your schedule is make sure that you start learning each of these components atomistically you can start with let's say in a day 30 minutes that I'm going to really dedicate 30 minutes of my day or studying or learning English uh, language or I think I have several okay hours to myself. Every day of my life, I am committed to learning and improving my English language proficiency. Okay. Just one hour every day. If you can commit to this, you discover that your proficiency in this language, this very vital language that is in, that is so key to our socioeconomic success in the fourth industrial revolution economy. So, if you look at this, I have explained the steps explicitly for my viewers on the chalkboard. So, all you need to do is look at the various components. Okay, these are just examples. I think I have about five. Okay, punctuation, okay, pronunciation, spelling, grammar, and others. And the truth is this. Based on research and based on personal experience, the more you read, okay, the better you become in any subject itself, including English. If you look at my table, I have different English textbooks that I am committed to studying, to learning every day. I have tons of YouTube videos okay, on English language that I have downloaded. So, um, the more you read both physically and online, okay, the better your English language proficiency, that you become more fluent when you commit yourself to reading, both online and offline, because reading will expose you to different units of English language. You come across new words, you come across new vocabulary, your spelling skill or competency will definitely improve, your grammar, okay, ETC will definitely improve. So please, this is one secret that I want you to integrate. And I assure you, I guarantee you that you, your improvement, your growth and development in this very critical language will become so obvious, will become so profound. So the next thing is this. If you learn a word, for example, let's say the word is determination. Let's say the word is determination. So how do you learn this? How do you analyze this word atomistically? That is the question. So let me explain it. Please come along while I go back to the chalkboard for deeper okay, analysis. So if you look at the word, okay, a determination, illustration, the first one is, from this word determination, we have to deter. 
to deter means okay to restrict somebody okay from doing carrying out certain thing that the uh, terrorists were deterred okay from exploding uh, some bombs that my father deterred me from going out at night or my mother okay deterred my sister uh, from visiting her friend then this one it is mine okay it is a possessive uh, pronoun that that book is mine, this marker is mine. Then the third one is determine. This one, why, why this one is mine? Here you cannot say determine. Okay, that is one of the importance of what? Of pronunciation. So here it becomes determine. Because I am a determined man. She is a determined lady. Okay, it is an adjective. Here, it is an adjective, okay, and the other word for determined is to be courageous, okay, to be bold, to be confident that I'm going to really succeed. Then determination, okay, another word for it is, is, is tenacity. Okay, she's so, uh, I think I respect her, her spirit of de determination, uh, her desire to succeed in life. Another word for determination or persistence, okay. So it is a noun. So you can see that just from this, you've learned pronoun, okay, verb, because the third is, yes, it is a verb. It is the third. So, it is a noun. Determine is an adjective. Mind is a pronoun. Deter is a verb. So, from just this word, you've learned, you've learned about four parts of speech so this is the idea that I strongly believe that is what shared it and that encouraged this video uh, thank you so much for your time uh, thank you for listening for downloading and for watching this video uh, please do not forget to subscribe I'm committed to helping my viewers and my learners and my 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 subscribers improve their English language proficiency all over the world. Uh, thank you. Please don't forget to drop a comment and share this video with your friends and families. I shall see you in the next video. Uh, thank you very much.